The moon has a very familiar looking face. Seeing it from a particular place on the Earth's surface, it waxes and wanes, but otherwise it has the same appearance from one day to the next. We only ever see one side of the moon, because the moon spins on its axis in the same time it takes to go around the Earth, due to tidal locking, a phenomenon we looked at in another video. But the familiar day-to-day -day appearance of the moon differs depending on your location on Earth. For example, if you look at the full moon from the United Kingdom, it looks like this. If you're in Australia, on the other hand, this is how the full moon appears. As you can see, the moon looks as if it's been turned upside down. Of course, what's really happened is that in going from the UK to Australia, or vice versa, it's you that's turned upside down. If we look at the moon from the northern hemisphere on Earth, our view is like this. Whereas looking out from the southern hemisphere, our vision aspect is like this. That's why the moon looks different from countries at different latitudes. The same is true for the patterns of stars in the night sky. They too will take on an unfamiliar appearance if we switch our viewing location from one hemisphere on Earth to another. Here, for instance, is what the constellation of Virgo looks like from Moscow in Russia. And here we see the same constellation as seen from Canberra in Australia. The same stars occur in the same pattern, but the pattern has been rotated, giving it an unfamiliar appearance. The only reason we get used to the moon and constellations looking a certain way is because we see them from our particular vantage points on Earth. Once we head into space, the idea of up or down no longer has any meaning.